It's been 30 long years since I've walked these stairs Down to my lab, no one cares It's alive! It's alive! I'm no longer the mad scientist of rock and roll It's apparent to me time has taken its toll my son's taken over, he's quite a bright lad Bringing life to the dead, just like his old dad He does things now with computers and lasers That I once would perform with straight-edged razors Let's visit him now, who knows what's in store Just one moment please, while I open this door The right shade of green It's the best looking monster I've ever seen It's alive It's alive It's alive It's alive It's alive Father, come help me It's breaking its chain He looks quite angry Right brain. Fritz, you idiot! Which jar did you use? He was not musician, heavy metal, not blues. Fritz, work quickly, we may lose control. Only music has the power to give it a soul. Get the old man on drums, let the mummy play bass. Give the thing a guitar, there's no time to waste. Creation has become a success And I've grown fond of its music, I must confess Though I never thought that it would ever survive I'm delighted to say that it's still alive Well, every day I like to get up and brush my teeth. I put on my tennis shoes and I go out on the street. Everyone I see, they think that I'm so keen. Is it my personality? No, it's that moral hygiene. I like, oh yeah, to keep my teeth clean. Uh -huh, yes, I like it. Whoa, that oral hygiene. Oh yeah, said I like, oh, go. 
to keep my teeth clean. Uh -huh. Yes, I like it, that oral hygiene gene. Bidi bidi da bum ba dim woo woo bum ba dim hi hi bum ba ba da bum hey bum ba dim bidi bidi da bum ba dim woo woo bum ba dim hi hi ba 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 da bum grab it. Well, I keep that glass right by the sink. And when I finish brushing, I take a little drinky dink. I use my dental floss and my gums stay firm and pink. And I'm a real head down at the roller rink. I'm singing out. I like, oh yeah, to keep my teeth clean. Oh yes, I like it. Whoa, that oral hygiene. Oh yeah, said I like cocoa to keep my teeth clean. Oh yes, I like it. That oral hygiene, jing, bit it, bit it, bum, bum, him, whoa, whoa, bum, bum, him, hi. Hi, bum ba ba da bum. Hey, bum ba dim, bi di bi di da bum ba dim. Whoa, 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 bum ba dim. Hi, hi, ba 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 da bum. Choreography. Ba wa wa, ya da bum. Brum. Ba wa wa, ya da ba ba da ba da ba ba da 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 when I don't eat cake, no sweet candy, no candy. And when I drink pop, it's sugar free, like fresca. And my racket's clean, no cavity, no way, Jose. No yellow teeth, no pyorrhea. Everybody know what I like, oh yeah, to keep my teeth clean, uh huh. Yes, I like it. Whoa, that oral hygiene. Oh yeah, said I like. Go to keep my teeth clean. Oh uh -huh. yes, I like it. That oral hygiene, jing. Ba da ba da da bum ba da mo mo bum. Hey, bum ba da ba da ba da da bum ba da mo mo bum ba da mo. Bye bye, ba 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 da bum. Well, the smallest thing that's known to man's a subatomic particle measured scientifically under life conditions to be 10 centimeters taken to the minus 13th power. Everybody! <laughs> but those things is very small, it's really not that small at all compared to the line that is ever so fine that separates the hot from the cold on the handle of my shower. It just exactly like you like it There are still 107 different combinations Different permutations Things which can and maybe will go wrong Like when I'm in the shower With the woman that I love And just at the moment of extreme excitation Some guy in the apartment below Turns his dishwasher on And the water comes up cold And my woman goes Eek! Steps on the soap Nearly breaks her neck As it was She only suffered From some minor scrapes and bruises But just as she was falling She made a desperate grab For the nearest thing around her So that no fatal harm would occur Which was fortunate for her But unfortunate for me Cause the thing she made a grab for Happened to be something near and dear To both of us So to be fair She wasn't thinking How extremely dear it was to me Is how conveniently near it was to her But it's an interesting biologic, metabolic, fundamental, scientific, not to say a physiological fact. The when subjected to the stimulus of sub-zero H2O, the male private areas have a tendency to rapidly contract. And this is what they did, and that is why she missed them, made a grab behind them, what it was she finally caught. Was the handle of my shower which she twisted as she fell past the smallest thing that's known to man and suddenly the water came out hot. Yeah, I went eek and I faded unconscious and my woman got me out of there and two weeks later my poor private areas finally got the courage to emerge so even now they haven't yet regained their normal size and weight and span. In fact for a while there they had successfully broken all previous existing world records for the smallest things that were known to man. I was alone in the country with my wife. 
Then we had a baby and Lord, it changed our life. And now we will never, ever, 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 ever be alone. We've entered a new dimension. A dimension only of sight and sound, but of crying, dirty diapers, sleepless nights, and expensive babysitters. The sign post up ahead says, The Baby Zone. I love my little baby from his head down to his toes. When I put him on my shoulder, he spits up on my clothes. When you have a baby, it really takes a toll. You're plugging up the leaks everywhere he has a hole. We've entered the baby zone. Lord, Lord, I don't know what to do. Cause if he doesn't learn how to sleep through the night, he'll never see the age of two. When we get romantic and cuddle on the bed, that's when the darling wakes up screaming to be fed he nurses every hour he won't cut us any slack oh when can i please have my busty wife back we've entered the baby zone all it does is cry cry spit up cry cry drool cry cry burn cry cry <laughs> this is what it's like folks <laughs> cry 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 Last time I went to change his dirty diaper He squirted me right in the eye Two weeks ago last Monday I was driving I didn't want to be Gumby, so I switched to passing gear. When I pulled up alongside him, he offered me a beer. Hey man, you want a beer? No thanks, man. You sure? No, I'm Bob. Okay, man, we'll see you later. Pulled into my driveway, walked up to my front door. I went inside and noticed there were hoof marks on the floor. I measured them with utmost care and thought the tracks were deer. Then suddenly it hit me what was happening in here. There's a moose in my house. I thought it was a deer. There's a moose in my house. But now it's really clear. There's a moose in my house. Got a major problem here. Moose, moose, in my house. What am I gonna tell my dog? Ah! I checked my mail and found a box from the Sierra Club. I ran into the bathroom and found moose here in my tub. My bill from Bell had phone calls to the Yukon and Montana. My toothbrush smells like moose breath. I'm missing my pajamas. There's some moose in my house. I don't know what to do. There's some moose in my house. I stepped in moosey poo. There's some moose in my house. My dog is turning blue. Moose, moose, moose. in my house. I looked in the backyard and found a troop of Cub Scout campers. I asked them why that they were there. It is my yard, you know. They said we are moose hunters. This is the place to go. We're moose hunters. Oh, yeah? They're in your house. I know. You want to get out of my yard? I know this all sounds stupid. You probably think I'm dumb. You might think I'm a mental case or maybe just a bum. But someday you just might come home and find a big surprise. A moose takes up a lot of space and really draws the flies. There's a moose in my house. I thought it was a deer. There's a moose in my house. But now it's really clear. There's a moose in my house. I should have had that beer. There's a moose in my house. Got a major problem here. There's a moose in my house. I don't know what to do. There's a moose in my house. I stepped in moosey poo. There's a moose in my house. I hope that there aren't two. There's a moose in my house. My dog is turning blue. There's a moose in my house. Moose, moose, moose. There's a moose in my house. Got a moose in my house. There's a moose in my
back in sixth grade I was stupid as could be The teacher asked When did Christopher Columbus cross the sea? She called on me I said I don't have a clue And to make matters worse I asked Christopher who I got those In 1492 Columbus sailed the ocean blue My teacher said Columbus was a hero tried and true But now I'm hearing lots of questions that have me all confused Like they say he discovered a world that was new But if the Indians were here already, who discovered who? I got those in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue He had three ships, the Nina, the Pinna, the Santa Maria. He was looking for China, would have been happy with Korea. My sister says he brought new diseases on his boats. For the Columbus Day Parade, she's built a diphtheria float. They say Columbus mistreated the Indians over and over. And what a week it, a three-day weekend in. Am I a patriot or a slime? I went to Columbus, Ohio once and had a damn good time. I got those in 1492. Columbus sailed the ocean. He's been a hero. Is it time for a demotion? In 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. You know, there are so many important questions that confront a man during his lifetime, such as, why am I here? Where did I come from? Where am I going? And most important... Who put the booger on my beer mug When I was dancing with my tushka Who put the booger on my beer mug I'm gonna knock him in the head Was it Frankie Jedlikowski? No, not now, it wasn't him. I always thought he had it in for me Ever since the time when we was little kids I took this bike and threw it in the creek do, 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 do. Who put the booger on my beer mug When I was dancing with my tushka Who put the booger on my beer mug I'm gonna knock him in the head Was it Stasiu Kazarinski? No, 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 it wasn't him he always was the joker of the pack But the big joke was on him When I ran off with his girl And he wound up with chubby Stella Pratt do, 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 do. Who put the booger on my beer mug When I was dancing with my tushka Who put the booger on my beer mug I'm gonna knock him in the head Who put the booger on my beer mug when I was dancing with my tushka Who put the booger on my beer mug I'm gonna knock him in the head I'm gonna knock him in the head Out to the bar last night, had a little much to drink. I slammed 90 beers and then got in a fight. They almost put me in the clink. I asked this woman to drive me home, but she takes me over to her place. My body begins to feel like foam. My mind is in outer space, cause I gotta. Turns out 
the light. She puts on a negligee and fancy perfume. Maybe this'll be a good night. She starts to feel my body and do all that sexy stuff. But excuse me, girl, before we go on. Ugh, I got a cough. Anybody's guess what happened next? I can't remember a single thing. For how in the hell did I wind up here, hanging on this tire swing? I'll never get this drunk again, especially when I lost that dame. I can't remember her address, her phone number, or even her name. Barf it up now. Barf it up now. I'll never get this drunk again, especially when I lost that dame. I can't remember her address, for that matter, even her name. I won't get drunk again, cause I don't feel too good. I don't feel too good. I don't feel too good. I don't feel... She grabbed my coconuts and then she ran away. She grabbed my coconuts and did not even stay. Oh, why? Tell me why? Did she want to see a grown man cry? She grabbed my coconuts and then she ran away. Thought I was alone. She came out of nowhere. I asked if I could show her the coconuts I'd grown. High up in the tree, blowing on my big flute. She was staring at my fruit. I screamed when I didn't leave. She grabbed my coconuts and then she ran away. She grabbed my coconuts and did not even stay. Oh, why? Tell me why? Did she want to see a grown man cry? She grabbed my coconuts and then she ran away. Harry began to round. I had them since I was a baby. Till the horrible lady knocked them all around. Maybe she had plans to drink the milk inside them. It was impossible to hide them from a deadly hand. She grabbed my coconuts and then she ran away. She grabbed my coconuts and did a divan stay. Oh, why? Tell me why? Did she want to see a grown man cry? She grabbed my coconuts and then she ran away. She attacked them, tried to crack them, really whacked them into a coconut souffle. And then she ran, she ran away. It is such a shame, I never got to utilize them. Ever since she brutalized them, they've never been the same. I'm a broken man. Nothing in my coconut sack. She bruised my banana, it is turning black. Getting Gucci in my hands. She grabbed my coconuts and then she ran away. She grabbed my coconuts and did a divine stay. Oh, why? Tell me why. Did she want to see a grown man cry? She grabbed my coconuts and then she ran away. She grabbed my coconut and then she ran away. She grabbed my coconut.
from nuts and dinner to Vans Day Oh why, tell me why, did she want to see it from my crime? She grabbed my coconuts and then she ran away And then she ran away It's that a winning stretch. Everybody sing together. in my backyard which took me 10 years to collect in just 10 minutes were totally wrecked my baseball cards came to an end in a couple of gulps by man's best friend my darn dog that stupid bow wow turned my baseball cards into puppy chow i left the doggy door open last night my stupid dog came in for a bite i call him jaws because he eats everything in sight my feller, my rookie, Ozzy Smith My 3D hologram, Carter, Fred, McGriff Fingers, Fox, Fozzie, O, and Old Ty Cobb Louis Aparicio, the Gibson's Kirk and Bob Bart, Mason, Mantle, and even Norm Cash Are now out back in a pile of trash What's worse than all, I'm really dying rookie an artifact and he turned it into a midnight snack i asked how can there be a god when my baseball cards are now a dog spit squad there went my investment every last time when my canine decided to die that crazy mutt makes me want to scream he had complete sets on most every team i had tops and players all classics but they're now somewhere in my dog's gut that furry four-legged bottomless pit chewed my baseball cards into kibbles and fits what he didn't eat is covered with puppy spit. He ate darling dibbles, DiMaggio's, Dom and Joe, Robert's Raider, and it grows and can't say go. Baker Bugs, Bobby Brown, and Big John Crook. A Bob Wells rookie worth a thousand bucks. Mark and Law, Lava, Jetto, Griffey's dad and son. And Maris hitting his 61st home run. But the worst of all, what's got me crying? My dog ate Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan. I had a Bobby Tolan bar. With his picture upside down, Ebbets Field Polo Grounds, and the old St. Louis Browns, Valenzuela Valentine, and Andy Van Slyke, Barbara Coleman, and Rizzuto with Vinny and the Mike. William Drew the musical, all favorites of the fans, Fender Carling, David Green, and other also rans. But the biggest blow of all, the one that's got me sighing, my doggy, Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan. He ate Gilliam, William, Billy, and Ted. Clemens, Klein, and Clark, both Will and Fred. Steve Garvey, Harvey Keen, and up in little pieces. Robertson, Wilbur, Jackie Brooks, and Frank. Home run Baker and Ernie Bank. Catfish Hunter, Dizzy Dean, and Jesse Hank. He ate the whole darn baseball hall of fame. Killer Brew, Powell, Google, Crisis, Blue, Garrick, Kofax, Steve Sachs, and Classic Yogi Berra, Bill Terry.
and Mia were lovers. For twelve years they had their fun. Mia looked after eleven kids. Woody had his eye on one. Her name was Soon Yi. It's quite complicated, you see. Woody was pushing sixty. Soon Yi was just twenty-one. Soon Yi said, "Woody, take some pictures of me." Woody said, "You bet your buns and whatever you show, don't let your mom know." Mia discovered those photos. Called up old Al Dershowitz. Al said, "If Woody wants custody, give him all eleven kids. Then let's see him work. They will drive him berserk." Well, Mia, she became furious. She said, "Sunyi, what have you done?" Mia took Sunyi's whole closet of clothes and shredded them one by one. Sunyi said, "Be my guest." Woody buys me the best. Now this fall there is a movie. In it, Woody and Mia are wed. Woody meets a real young student, and they end up going to bed. What cheap, dirty shots! Where's he getting these plots? Woody and Mia were lovers, and like all lovers, they'd fight. But how many couples have to go to the mat on television every night? Woody and Mia, you know, you got one hell of a show. I put my head in the vice. vice. I would cover my body with lies or mice, mice or overcooked rice that isn't too dry. dry. Let me tell you, little homegirl, here's the reason why. 'Cause I, 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 I love you. Well, I, 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 I love you. I'm so crazy about you. Burn my tongue with a bick. Slam my head between doors in the sidewalks. I'd lick or stick an ice pick away up my. Let me tell you, darling. Here's a little bonus prize. I, 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 I love you. Well, I, 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 I love you. Well, I heard myself at the biggest train. Let aliens come and dissect my brain. And the pain and the blood stain, it really wouldn't matter. I still love you, even though my brain was in a platter. I, 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 I love you. Well, I, 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 I love you. Well, I, 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 I love you. I really do. Well, I, 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 I love you. No, really, baby, I love you. I love you so much that. Oh, don't worry about these needles that are in my eye. Well, I, I put them there 'cause I love you. Well, come back, baby. The blood don't matter. Hey, look at. Oh, look at this. Woo! <laughs> See that car didn't even hurt. I have tread marks all over me, and it don't even hurt. Now come on, baby, I love you. Look at this. Look at this. Now come on now. I I I I I I I love you. Well, I I I I I I I love you. I really do. Well, I I I I I I I love you. I really do. Well, I I I I I I I love you. I'm 
history I died long ago in its strain Why, oh why can't you see I am at the pearly gate I'm dead, I'm gone, D-E-A-D. -E the king has vacated his throne. Now I'm exactly where I want to be. Why won't you leave me alone? Maybe I'm through. So man, just go pick on someone else instead. Now I'm asking you to just let me be dead. Believe me, folks, I'm dead, really. Do you think if I was alive, I'd let them do that stupid TV series about me? Do you think if I was alive, the person I'd contact would be Gail Brewer Giorgio? Jesus, man, who, who the hell is Gail Brewer Giorgio? And another thing, John Lennon wants to know why nobody thinks he's still alive. And Buddy Holly, too. Baby, I'm dead. Don't believe the magazine. In the store, get it through your head. I ain't coming back no more. Hey, folks, man, just just let me be dead and leave me alone. Why don't you go looking for Babe Ruth? Maybe he's alive. Hell, Nat King Cole just made a song. Maybe he's still alive. Look for him. Just let me go, man. I'm dead. I, I think there's lots of people that you can look for and see if they're alive. One of them isn't me, man. Why don't you look for Bill Bixby?
my problem's really tragic There isn't any cure Cause nothing short of magic Will help you when you're A late bloomer She's a late bloomer Lagging behind adolescence's hurdles Late bloomer She's a late bloomer Not enough hips to hold up your girdles The kids in school will be rude You'll feel alone and deserted When the parts that ought to protrude Are chronically inverted Late bloomer When will my social life get any better? Late bloomer There's something wrong with a fit of my sweater Mother nature leaves you stranded on the brink of puberty I can confess I was a late bloomer. Oh, I tried to hide my awful secret to pretend I was just like the other girls in eighth grade. I barred my mother's lipstick. I stuffed socks in my bra. But damn deep, I knew it was hopeless. Then one magical day, I found myself approaching puberty. And there was puberty running in the opposite direction. Wait, wait for me. When your bust line is big, you're surrounded by boyfriends aplenty. But they don't date girls with a figure of 20, 20, 20. No, 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 not when you're a late bloomer. She's a late bloomer. I hate to sound like I'm always complaining. Late bloomer. She's a late bloomer. But when will my bra not need any more training? Cause well endowed, grown up and proud. admit that it pisses me off because I like girls with no pants and stuff. I guess one could never say of the people in southern France that they could be guilty of having ants in their pants. Well, they don't pants in the southern part of France. No, it's a lot like sushi. Don't you think so? I'm your sushi baby. I'm your sushi baby. Eat me while I'm still alive. Little piece of squid. Little piece of tuna. Love to eat you raw. Couldn't eat 
Yasuna. Sushi baby. I'm your sushi baby. Spear me right between the eyes. This shed's golden seaweed. Tastes real great. Nothing like a meal. Walking off my plate. Sushi baby, I'll be yours. You can cut me up any meal. Push 
the people she could damn you better Leaves her in the camera and she can't get up Then I can't get up She won't have much of a future If she doesn't get a suit you She can't call Billy Fire Cause she broke her vertebra This is Frank, she's falling and she can't get up This is Frank, she's falling and she can't get up This is Frank, she's falling and she can't get up This is Frank, she's falling and she can't get up This is Frank, she's falling and she can't get up This is Frank, she's falling Rudy, Rudy, the dog from my childhood. Rudy, Rudy, the dog we all loved. Death was sudden, and hearts broken everywhere. But now he smells out from above. Just a puppy, a member. With double compound fractures And the doctor said he might not heal But that Rudy He beat the eyes and came home He was happy But limped to one side He swam in circles Round and round that dog would go Getting dizzy Throw up and then Then just one week later, he started having seizures. He'd spit and snap and wheeze and shake. The test of focus, focus. The doctor said it's hopeless. Our dad took out his 38. And we cried, no, no, don't shoot him. Let, let our Rudy live He was murdered And buried in our own backyard Two nights later Native dogs came down Dug up Rudy And tore his guts and ate some skin Next day we put him deeper in the ground One year later, we dug up our puppy dog. Bones were gleaming, bright, shiny, and new. Wired together, we put them on our dresser top. Way up high for everyone to view. Rudy, Rudy, the dog from our childhood. was sudden and hearts broken everywhere but now he smiles out from above Fido is our dog A good dog is he, Fido died last spring, unexpectedly, but we never cried. We knew what to do, Fido was freeze-dried, now he's good as new. He sits on the porch staring at the sky, Fido never moves, never blinks an eye. And he never barks, friends come to the door And he never bites the mailman anymore And our yard is clean, 
There's no doggy do. Neighbors can't complain. Theirs is clean now too. One day we applied something rather neat. Roller skates on each of Fido's four flat feet. We go for a roll where other doggies run. Fido looks content. He must be having fun. Fido's doing well. Never scratches fleas. Never chases cars. Never gets rabies. Fido's a good dog. Always by our side. Here's a tip for you: Have your dog freeze dried. The seagulls were flying up in the clouds, the prettiest sight you could see. And as I looked up, I had only one thought: Please don't dump it on me. White spots on the ground, little dots all around, from the pretty little birdies flying high. You know it is spring when you hear the robin sing from their giant toilet in the sky. Vanilla ice cream is what I had bought. A very large Häagen-Dazs scoop. When down came a turd from a big yellow bird. Now I am eating his poop. White spots on the ground, little dots all around. From the pretty little birdies flying high. It floats through the air, then it lands in my hair. From the giant toilet in the sky, they sit in the trees and they crap in the field. But their favorite place is on my automobile. White spots on the ground, little dots all around. From the pretty little birdies flying high. They're aiming at you when they make number two from their giant toilet in the sky. Oh, their giant toilet in the sky. Born in my old neighborhood, and everyone for miles agreed that tree was mighty good. It bore a fruit so firm and sweet it made all tonsils glad. Digesting it was so much fun it drove our tummies mad. How we smiled to think how nature should produce such goodies for me. And nature smiled back at us through our old yum yum tree. The yum yum tree would show mankind how tasty life could be. It changed the lives of all to ever to ride a yum yum tree. Yum yum tree, that's your stupid shh 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 quiet. Go ahead, Bruce. A clado of cordate rutaceae with bifurcated leaves. These sinuous being somehow dioecious, strange to see. And these digitate integuments on indehiscent seeds. And these move grenades keep hepophytes from causing tumor fleas. How in these fancy words a botanist approved our yum yum to read. While dissecting it with skill and care on PBS TV. Then he lectured on how nature to produce such goodies for me. And he sold some plants to squeeze it into high technology. Oh, oh I do. Oh, this is so oh, good. Oh, good. I do. Oh. Then industry improved yum yum to better suit our will. How with thyso meso DNA and exochlorophyll and bisomega dethahol and stuff they use. 
Please for pills. They had airplanes sprayed our neighborhood, and all our pets fell ill. And yum yum tankers sail the seas, and yum yum juice got spilled. And laboratory tests on rats showed yum yum juice could kill. I with some sugar in, they rub their chins at this stupidity. While nature smiled quietly inside that yum yum tree. I better tell them why I just listen. How one day a killer for us came in the yum yum corrupt decline And yum yum addicts everywhere lost their collective mind The crime rate rose as prices soared, no yum yum substitute So all rat faking paranoids declared war on yum yum fruit Just say no. The CIA found communists behind this yum yum slime Religions found the devil the FBI found crime We had to move to rectify foul nature's wicked deeds Straight to jail for anybody caught possessing yum yum seeds Then certain ah, famous pressure groups did press the FCC To have wiped clean from radio all songs of yum yum trees The yum yum tree did show mankind how silly it can be the blame for all its pain on something from a tree And I guess I'm now a criminal Cause I found yum yum seeds And I see nature smiling as I plant them quietly That was an ecological song Yep, it was about man On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a knife with a very sharp blade. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two hand grenades and a knife with a very sharp blade. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three and sixteens, two hand grenades and a knife with a very sharp blade. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Four Tommy guns, three M16s, two hand grenades And a knife with a very sharp blade On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Five sticks of dynamite Four Tommy guns, three M16s, two hand grenades And a knife with a very sharp blade on the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Six small top cocktails, five sticks of dynamite Four Tommy guns, three M16s, two hand grenades And a knife with a very sharp blade On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Seven electric cattle prods, six small top cocktails, five sticks of dynamite Four Tommy guns, three M16s, two hand grenades, and a knife with a very sharp blade. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eight bayonets, seven electric kettle prods, six small top cocktails, five sticks of dynamite. Four Tommy guns, three M16s, two hand grenades, and a knife with a very sharp blade. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Nine cans of mace, eight bayonets, seven electric cattle prods, six Molotov cocktails, five sticks of dynamite Four Tommy guns, three M16s, two hand grenades, and a knife with a very sharp blade On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Ten nuclear submarines, nine cans of mace, eight bayonets, seven electric cattle prods, six small top cocktails, five sticks of dynamite. Four Tommy guns, three M16s, two hand grenades, and a knife with a very sharp blade. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Eleven tons of nerve gas, ten nuclear submarines, nine cans of mace, eight bayonets, seven electric cattle prods, six small top cocktails, five sticks of dynamite. Four Tommy guns, three M16s, two hand grenades, and a knife with a very sharp blade. 
On the twelfth day of Christmas my true love gave to me Twelve nuclear holocausts Picture, if you will, three lonely guys contemplating the holiday season. They're living their own nightmare, looking through the cobwebs of their minds. Just around the corner, the signpost up ahead, it's the Twilight Zone. Well, it's another holiday season, man. What are you going to do this year, Brian? I don't know. Sit home and eat a frozen Swanson turkey dinner. How about you, Dennis? What are you going to do? Man, Christmas is the loneliest time of year. I'm just going to paddle my pickle and probably blow my brains out or well, something. Well, I'll tell you. I want a part-time girl for Christmas. One who leaves after New Year. One who'll meet the family, then get on out of here. One for office parties, show my boss that I'm sincere. I want a part-time girl for Christmas, at least until New Year. I want a part-time girl for Christmas, one who lives real far away. One who's independent, the kind who pays her way. But one who has no hang-ups like myself this time of year. I want a part-time girl for Christmas and a six-pack of dark beer. No one seems to realize tis the season to be bummed. It's no wonder all my friends are busy drinking eggnog, lots of rum. I want a part-time girl for Christmas, show my friends I'm not alone. One who has a sense of humor and avoids the twilight zone. She can't be suicidal at this special time of year. I want a part-time girl for Christmas who will split when it's New Year. <laughs> I don't know, Brian. I went out with a girl last time. This time, and I didn't get along with the parents, and I'd just be better off by myself watching It's a Wonderful Life five times. Except this time, watch it without Donna Reed. Really? I don't worry about having children, man. My owners had me fixed, so I just <laughs> <scrap> <laughs> That's probably a good idea, too. Or that's why I got a dog this year. But, you know, I'll tell you. So, you know. All I wish this season is a very, merry Christmas cheer. But how can I be merry? What if I'm married late next year? Don't want some huge commitment Not a lover or a friend Just someone to share two weeks with Before the year is at an end My folks will think I'm happy Though there is one thing I fear What if they like her so much And invite her back next year? <laughs> I want a part-time girl for Christmas One who leaves after New Year One who'll meet the family then get on out of here One who's not demanding Who is honest and sincere I want a part-time girl for Christmas At least until New Year I want a part-time girl for Christmas At least until New Year you guys, but uh, I'm going to go home and have some eggnog and just bring in the New Year's or something, you know? God, you'd bum out Leo Biscaglia. I've got jingle balls and a nine-inch North Pole and nobody to share it with. All right, guys, I'll see you later, man. Well, you can share it with us. Feliz Navidad. Yeah, oy vey, see ya. Yeah. <coughs> Went out to the bar last night. Had a little much to drink I slammed 90 beers and then got in a fight They almost put me in the clink I asked this woman to drive me home But she takes me over to her place My body begins to feel like foam My mind is in outer space Cause I got a gonna be okay but the whole damn house is spinning i must be 
in the Milky Way. She gives me a cup of coffee, but I can never stand that stuff. Drinking it, it tastes like toffee. I should never live this rough, but I gotta. the bedroom, then she turns out the light, she puts on a negligee and fancy perfume, maybe this'll be a good night, she starts to feel my body, and do all that sexy stuff, but excuse me girl, before we go on, ugh, I got a cough.